Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhood. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fast! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my fight. Oh, nice land with the knee. You 
see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, that's a nice strike. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Liver kick. Oh, yep. Up and the left hand. Right hand punches the clinch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. To end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Good punch. Oh! Uppercut lands for him. Back and forth we go. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast paced opening round here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just misses there with the left. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the... Oh! Knee to the body. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's throwing every part of himself into these big legs. Oh, like, oh, like, what a shot to the body. His opponent has been trying to keep the poke for me, but he's hurt very, very bad. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he's back in the clinch. Look for him to get that right hand busy. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look at notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop <laughs> it. Big team, big team. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. tie there. Oh, nice knees to the body here in the clinch. I know you're deceptively fast. I'm going to look for more knees in the clinch out of you in the next fight. It's a difficult technique to pull off, but to watch this young man land more than one knee to the body is amazing. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. 
Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's hurt there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, nice jab. He blocks the punch. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He gets right back up. Lee gets back up again. Nicely done. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Strike to the body here. Instead, it's turned away by Lee. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very back. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Inches right there, oh, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that land. Getting the hands going here. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, he might be out. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body Back off. Back and forth we go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice. jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab, but you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start oh. to... Oh! Oh! Just dances the boss. Oh. He shot with every part of himself, and now he's got to go. Back to the feet! Lee's kick is blocked. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Oh, oh man, look at that one body shot. Did that show in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. 
They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. To Whoa! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Big. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful body kick. a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that punch. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him right here. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's just unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Three minutes to go in the round. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing... Oh. 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 Not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop him. got to defend. Now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate. Tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gage will stop this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce, the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. And both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.
Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight.